What's going on, everybody? It is your boy here, Controversy. And today, guys, I'm going to be reviewing Five Way Kenji's Revenge Reloaded EP, which is an EP that dropped last month on May 15th. And this is essentially a sequel to his Revenge EP that he dropped last year in December. But yeah, man, when this dropped, you know, there were some people that said that they didn't really like it. Biambi wasn't a fan of it. Um, he didn't really give it a good score, to be honest. But I honestly didn't want to say anything about the EP yet because I had not really listened to it. Um, and I hadn't really, you know, reviewed it. So yesterday I listened to it and here are my thoughts. So the production of this EP, I thought it was phenomenal. I thought it was great. I loved how the hard snares and drums really fit in with Five Weight Kenji's voice, you know. It honestly added a lot of flavor to the tracks, which I honestly appreciated. And, you know, I always say this, man, but Five Weight Kenji has the best flow and delivery when it, in our community. You know, his, his voice is amazing. I love the cool killer vibe he brings into his tracks. I honestly can always appreciate that. And, yeah, man, honestly... It made me enjoy this EP a lot more, you know, and as far as bars, you know, Five Wood Kenji always has some crazy ass complicated bars that I honestly can't even wrap my head around. But some of my favorite bars that he spit was when he said, um, I'm about to grow like dilation. I thought that was pretty clever, man. That's, that's fire. Um, and he also, <laughs> there was also this one interesting bar where he talks about singer aesthetically cry which is a singer in our under in our community um he basically played with her name saying um they cry when i don't like their aesthetic <laughs> yo man i thought that was pretty clever i liked how five way kenji played with her name like that but honestly um five way if you're watching this man i thought that wasn't necessary i mean come on man you know and honestly, I guess I wasn't really as surprised when he said that, you know, because a couple of months before this EP dropped, I think it was around March or February, I'm not sure, but I was on Instagram, I was doing a live, and uh, 5 Away was there, and Ace was there, and 5 Away basically talked about how he doesn't really understand why Aesthetically Cries in our community when she's not even a rapper, she's a singer. But I was like, I mean, bro, it doesn't really matter, you know, like... Um, look, and I, by the way, I get why you would feel that way, you know, she's not a rapper, I get that, but it's like, the underground community is not specifically for rappers, you know, it's like, if you make music, then you're allowed to come in, it doesn't really matter if you're a rapper or a singer, but, I mean, you know, Five Way felt that way, and, you know, I can always respect that, but, yo, some of the people that are featured on this EP include Ace, Mischief, Epic Rider, um, and I think that's it, I'm pretty sure. Um, as far as the feature, as far as the features from Mischief and Ace, I thought they were pretty good, you know, I really did enjoy listening to Mischief and Ace and Five Way trade bars back to back, Celestial, such a cool ass fucking track, I love the whole vibe on that song, um, I just felt like Mischief's pronunciation could have been a little bit better, you know, that's kind of one problem I have with him, um, he's a great rapper, I just feel like his pronunciation could be a little bit better, you know, it's not really clear, um, and in that song, he kind of like starts rapping fast. Um, and honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. I had no idea what he was saying, you know, again, you know, he definitely needs to work on his pronunciation, you know, and it's like, um, and this is honestly the same advice I gave to a DJ mischief. If you're going to rap fast, um, try to try to like make it clear, you know, try to make your pronunciation a little bit more under more clear you know because honestly when you sped up like that um it, it not only threw me off guard but honestly it became super unsatisfying for me to listen to because i had no idea what you were saying um but overall man his verse was pretty good and then five way kenji comes in and i loved his verse um and then the transition between five way and ace kind of did threw me off a little bit because you kind of have five way kenji's part being mastered um, at a really great sound, but then when it transitions to Ace, it's like the sound just gradually becomes lower, you know, and I don't know if that was like a mixing problem on Ace's end, but I don't know, I felt like Ace's um, verse could have been mastered a little bit better, you know, maybe could have been a, a little bit higher um, 
to the same degree as 508 Kenji's verse. I don't know. But overall, man, it was a pretty good song. Um, And yeah, man, bro, I really did enjoy that feature that Epic did, man. I mean, Epic Rider, you know, I loved how like in that song, Yin and Yang, I loved how Epic was uh, matched the same vibe as 508 Kenji was giving in that song. You know, I loved how he matched... I loved how Epic came in with this aggressive killer tone. And it honestly added a lot of aggressiveness, if that's even a fucking word. It added a lot of, you know, aggressiveness to the track. So I loved how Epic Rider um honestly matched the same tone as um 508. You know, I really did like that. It honestly made that song even better, you know. So shout out to Five um no. Shout out to Epic Rider, man. Much love, bro. You're up you absolutely killed that track, man. Um, and I'm pretty sure he honestly, he produced that beat, you know, so shout out to Epic Rider, man, you know, I feel like he's such a great producer, man, such a great producer, y'all really should check him out, man. Um, but personally, my favorite track from this EP, um, definitely had, has to be the last track, which is Reloaded, man, oh my god, that song is so good, man, like, again, Reloaded, Fire and the Bullets from the Spray, like, it's just so good, man, it's so good, you know. Um, mixed with some hard snares and drums, um, matched with Five Boy Kenji's aggressive raw delivery, it just blends together to make such a good song, and I absolutely loved it. Um, but yeah, man. Um, overall, man, I thought this was a great EP. I love the production on it. Five Boy never fails to disappoint me. I loved the bars and amazing punchlines he gave in every song. You know absolutely phenomenal the features were great um and yeah man i like there's really nothing else i can say i thought the cp was pretty decent you know i thought it was pretty good so i'm feeling a six out of ten on this one you know i thought it was pretty decent pretty good you know um and i honestly expect a lot of great work from five weight kenji in the future i'm really excited to hear what he might be giving us next as far as music and yeah 6 out of 10 for me. Thanks for watching and comment down below on what you thought of this EP. Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? Let me know down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.